Joe and John sat here with me, or you might not have been brave enough to come out and hang out with that strange guy in the front. Thanks for coming up. My name is Terry Brandt. I serve as your bishop. I'm kind of like one of your pastors, only you share me with 200 other congregations, so I don't get to come here as much as I'd like, but when I do come here, it's really, really a lot of fun. I love our saviors, and I love this, being able to spend some time with you. So here's the thing. I'm getting kind of excited about spring. Are you... We had some warm weather that really gave me spring fever. It was a little bit early to have spring fever, but I've got it. So I've got spring fever, and I also have a pretty good imagination. Do you have pretty good imaginations? All right, so here's one of the things I like to do in the spring or the summer that we're going to do now and use our imaginations, all right? Will you go on a hike with me? Are you brave enough to do that? All right, we're going to go on... Should we call it a summer hike? Not even a spring hike. Let's be really bold and call it a summer hike. Are you ready to go? All right. Stand up. Follow me. We're going to take off, and we're going to just start walking through the woods because, um, all right, look who's following us. They've got their imaginations going, too. All right. Smell the fresh air. You smell the fresh air. All right. Our trail gets a little smaller here now, all right? We're going deeper into the woods. Eventually, we are going to climb a mountain. Are you up for climbing a mountain today? All right, smell the air, feel these really two cool trees as you go by, aren't those nice big trees? Whoop, whoop, I just about stepped right into our river, a big old river. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna wade in a little bit. We need to get to the other side, and I don't want you to get soaking wet, so step out here, it's a little shallow here, and then do a big jump over to that side. All right, all right, can you keep going, don't, all right, oh great, look at that. All right, don't trip, don't trip. All right, we made it. All right, now let's start making our way up the path this way. I'm gonna stay along the shores of the bank over here, all right? All right, come on over here to the foot of the mountain. Do you have enough energy to climb this mountain? Don't go up yet. Are we ready? It's a big, high mountain we need to climb. So let's go up halfway and then we'll rest. All right, let's take a rest. You catching your breath? All right, should we go the rest of the way? All right, the rest of the way on top of the mountain. I'm exhausted. Now you know what we need to do? We're at the top of the mountain, feel the breeze blowing. We need to just take in the beauty. Let's lay down on our backs and let's look up and catch the sun, all right? Lay down, take a look, rest on top of the mountain. Look up at the sun. You see it? See all the rays of the sun? That's a lot. All right, you can sit up. You guys are great at using your imagination. Do you know why I took you on a hike? Why we climbed a mountain? I bet you're clueless, aren't you? You go back and you listen. I'm going to read a story from Scripture. And Jesus takes some of his disciples, and they go on a big old hike. And they climb a mountain. And then they get to the top, and Peter thinks they're going to just rest, lay back, look at the sun, smell the fresh air, look at the trees. But something amazing happens on the top of this mountain or this height. You listen closer and read the story. You know what happens? Jesus suddenly is transformed, or a bigger word yet, transfigured. He begins to glow. It's almost like he's got light coming out all around him. And Peter's like, whoa, this is really, really strange. And suddenly, two people from way back in the Old Testament that had died years ago, Elijah and Moses, are suddenly standing next to Jesus. You think you'd be a little scared on top of the mountain if something like that happened? Yeah, I would. In my hikes, nothing like that has ever happened. So I'm thinking Peter was probably a little scared, but also realizing this is something pretty cool. But you know what? Just as quick as it happens, it seems to end. And it's over. Peter wanted to stay on the mountain so it was so, because it was so cool what had happened, but they knew, knew they needed to make their way back down. But you know what? 
Peter had encountered Jesus in a way he had never encountered him before. And Peter was never the same. And I want you to know that for you as well. You don't have to climb mountains to experience Jesus because Jesus is everywhere, right? He's with you every single day, every single place that you go. And you know what? Just like Jesus' presence changed Peter, Jesus' presence changes you and me each and every day. And it's really pretty cool. Jesus promises that no matter what we've done or what we're thinking, Jesus is always there. Always there to lead us and guide us into the future that Jesus would want for us. So remember that. Whether you're out for a hike or whether you're in school, whether you're hanging out at home, Jesus is there and Jesus changes our lives always for the good. Will you join me in a prayer? Good and gracious God, we thank you uh, for the gift. We thank you for the gift of your presence. You're around us all the time. Maybe we don't see you uh, glowing and standing in front of us, but we know that you're there. You're in us. You're in the people around us, and you care for us, and you change our lives just like you changed Peter's life. Lord, thank you for your love and your care. In your name we pray. Amen. Thanks for being brave. Come up. Watch the water on your way back, okay? Watch the water.